Dewan Rakyat Deputy Speaker Azalina Othman Saeeds letter to the Attorney General asking that Parliament be allowed to sit or that a new committee be formed to take over from the Cabinet has caused an uproar. Even those in government are divided about her stand, while others believe that her letter adds another dimension to the ongoing Amno PPBM fight. A minister, who declined to be named, said Azalina was spot on in saying that there was no justifiable reason to suspend Parliament when COVID-19 restrictions are being lifted. There will be a breaking point where the government can no longer justify suspending Parliament. So much has taken place, it is embarrassing, the minister said, adding that there was a need for everyone to be objective in the management of the pandemic using science and data. Johor Deputy Amno Chief Noor Jazlan Mohammad said the Purikata national government was running the country based on a political agenda. We have heard from the other side that there are moves by the Home Ministry to deregister Amno. So I guess this move is to tell them not to mess around with the very party that is keeping them in power, said the former Deputy Home Minister. He said Azalina's call made sense and had merit, as there was no government now following the emergency, which meant his party is not supporting the Prime Minister. We all know it is one man running the country at his whim and fancy. That is Mohidin Yassin. The rest are on autopilot mode, Noor Jazlan said, adding that after six weeks of emergency, nothing has changed and that the COVID-19 numbers do not seem to be coming down at all. He urged the government to lift the emergency and allow parliament to convene. Amno's Shahidan Qasim took a different stand. He said he will only decide on the matter after the newly appointed Emergency Management Technical Committee sits for a meeting to discuss matters related to the ongoing emergency. Let's see what they decide and act on their direction, he told FMT. The RO MP said it was crucial for the country to have a stable government to run the country, even if it was by a one-vote majority. PPBM Supreme Council member Russell Wahid, however, defended the suspension of parliament, stating the emergency was clearly to control COVID-19. It is only right to control the COVID-19 crisis the best way we can. Parliament should be suspended so that COVID-19 can be effectively curbed, he told FMT. Clearly, Azalina's letter has reignited a long-simmering row between UMNO and PPBM. Will cooler heads prevail?